Hello everyone, this is Fonz Michael Fonz and welcome to uh, the contract checkup for Blackpink. Even though their contract is not going up this year, it will be going up at some point in 2023, which is coming up very soon. And we've kind of been seeing what's been going on with Blackpink as of 2021. We'll see how this year goes for them and I will be doing predictions on that. But I want to know now what's going to happen with this contract because... I don't know. I feel sus about it. So let's go straight into it. And we're going to ask a yes or no for each member twice if they will be renewing their contract with YG Entertainment. And then if we get a couple of, you know, crazy answers, we will be further clarifying what's going to be going on with them as a group and as individuals. There is a reason that I don't do shufflings live. One thing I can tell you for sure is that Miss Jisoo's energy is very vocal. So the answers that we have from Miss Jisoo, if she will be renewing her contact with YG Entertainment is yes and yes, with the King of Wands and Three of Pentacles. For all intents and purposes, we're just gonna move straight into Miss Jenny. What's interesting is with Miss Jenny, we have a yes and a maybe which kind of is a bit leaning yes, but mostly settled on that maybe energy with the Fool and Ace of Wands with Miss Jenny. So moving on to Miss Lisa. So what's kind of crazy here is for Miss Lisa, as I suspected, cause you know, naturally when you have a feeling as a reader, um, sometimes you gotta follow it. Anyway, what I'm saying here is uh, Lisa has a yes and a no, five of swords and eight of wands. So moving into Miss Rosé, and then we will break it down. So for Miss Rosé, we have King of Swords and Six of Swords, which are both yeses. But what's funny is while I was shuffling, there was a maybe that was kind of moving, like it was going to flip out, but decided to like to work its way back in. So let's just go straight into what the hell is going on with Miss Lisa and why she might consider not returning to YG Entertainment. One thing I can tell you already though, before I start shuffling, is just kind of being in her energy as of recently, she's kind of been giving off the vibe that um, if she was given a better offer somewhere else, she might just take it. But I'm gonna give you the specific and nitty gritty, nitty -gritty details just so you don't think I'm just pulling shit out of my ass. Naturally, let's move. Okay, so going straight into it, dude, I decided to ask specifically for why Lisa might choose not to renew and um, we will be talking about what might make her stay or what will be up for contention whether she stays or not and then we'll probably pull for a final answer to see if it's going to be a for sure yes or no if she will be staying or leaving. So going into what might make her leave is six of swords, reverse queen of wands, four of pentacles, six of cups, overall bottom knight of pentacles ace of swords ace of wands excuse me three of pentacles king of pentacles two of cups ace of cups and ace of wands so what's funny here is that um i will put it straight up to you bro she has a lot of things going on here she might be having health concerns around this time that contracts are up so if she ends up getting sick with something or is having health issues i would not be surprised I'm not sure of the type of health that Lisa has, but that I know of, uh, Blackpink has not really had any moments besides maybe Jenny, where they've had, kind of had to take a step back from the limelight to rest and recuperate. But if she ends up catching Corona or something of that nature, not wishing it on her naturally, I wouldn't be surprised if that pushes her to say, you know what, this company feels like they don't care about me or, or my health. And I kind of want to go. She's going to be thinking back and looking back on like past memories during this time. And she might even be thinking about family or going back home and uh, being there and being with those people that are most important to her. And she also just has new ideas and she wants to find and forge a new direction for herself potentially stylistically. And uh, unless the company or maybe those in charge of that allow her, I guess, that sort of freedom, it seems she might just have to turn away. She's going to kind of be in a bit of a selfish energy around this time, which is not super surprising. It's just kind of like, 
her reasons for leaving are much more oriented to the self as one would naturally however with this knight of pentacles energy it also just is giving off the vibes of her thinking like this company has been there for me these people this staff this everything has been there for me no matter what and has been giving me everything i want so why should i suddenly turn away from them but also on the other side you know what if i break away and i'm able to really achieve and reach what i desire so it's not that she's in any sort of drought or shortage of money but she's beginning to wonder if she could make more money doing something else or being somewhere else type of vibes if she does happen to leave the group it'll likely be something or it may be some sort of conspiracy theory or controversy that people might be thinking she's leaving because of love or some sort of pregnancy or marriage or type of vibe however it doesn't seem like that's going to be her main reason at all if so with the ace of cups peeking out also with the hierophant peeking out if she's in a relationship, it ain't going to be the kind of relationship that you guys are expecting of her at all. I'm not going to go and spill all her business tea and details, even though, you know, that's kind of my job. I might go into it deeper on Tumblr. I'm going to just put it straight up there. She might end up revealing that she's in a relationship, but that's not going to be playing any sort of factor in why she might leave. So now let's just go straight up into why she might stay or what might cause her to stay and then we'll fall into the group energy and just see what their feelings will kind of be like and what's going to be happening around them when contracts go up i decided to break it down and uh we're going to talk about what could be happening around them at the time that contracts go up and the results of what contracts could be around them nine of swords two of cups ten of pentacles and five of swords one thing i'm gonna tell you straight up is there is something that's going to be involving miss rose uh i don't know if that's relationships or specifically i will read the cards and get into that but rose and scandal the scandal might not be about rose or be involving her but scandal and rose are two things that you need to keep in mind when this time comes back around so the energy is a little bit scattered um I don't know who it is, but there's going to be one person. It could be Jisoo. I'm be honest. I don't always like to point out names, but it could be Jisoo. That could be absolutely petrified, terrified that Blackpink is not going to stay together solely because, not that, you know, she's not good, but it feels like there could be in this energy some sort of insecurity and worry that without having that title or at least the security of being in the group, that she might not be able to stabilize her footing without that. Uh, there's also two of cups here. Someone could be revealed to be in a relationship. I mean, you know, it's not too much of a crazy thing because, you know, not too long ago, did they reveal G-Dragon and Jenny and, and, you know, Jenny and Kai before that. So maybe someone could be getting into a relationship or there could be some speculation in terms of someone getting into a relationship. Someone's going to be struggling in the press. There's going to be some issues with people sending hate or hate going around on one of the members. This could be what I was talking about with Rosé. So maybe watch out for around that time in terms of controversy and Ten of Pentacles. It seems like um, YG as a whole, as a company, is probably not going to be doing too bad monetarily at this time. It seems like their funds might sort of level out and even out rather than you know on a straight decline so who knows in the next year or two let's go into uh what the results of their contract may be in the overalls so two of wands nine of pentacles ace of cups page of swords nine of wands overall bottom knight of pentacles speaking out king of swords eight of pentacles ace of swords king of swords page of cups and ace of pentacles so it seems like it's highly likely, more likely than not, that Blackpink will be staying together. But the direction that they're going as a collective is what's going to change. So I mean, the, you know, I'm gonna say it straight out, honey. I'm sorry, Blinks. Please don't race you on me too hard because you know, like, being blunt is my thing. Is so we we already don't get no daggone music from Blackpink. We already don't get any music from them. So what is it going to be a surprise if we don't get any more music from them? 
Honestly. Maybe a couple of singles or like some collabs, but like, are you shocked? Because I'm not shocked. I don't know. You know what? Drop in the comments. Maybe put a little number one or something like that if you want me to read into why the hell Blackpink has so few albums despite like being a, like an almost 10 year group. 10 year group. <laughs> anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, it's likely that they're going to stay together. Someone's going to be revealing that they're in a relationship. Maybe a little bit deeper than the public would have supposed. So rather than a, oh, they're dating, it's like a, like, you know, they've been dating for a while type of vibe. And it's finally confirmed. It seems like if, you know, I guess referring back to Lisa being kind of dicey on her choosing to stay or not to stay is the fact that um she at first was thinking, you know, what can I do or what options can I explore to maybe boost myself beyond what I already do or where I am now. And she realized that, you know what, uh, or at least in her investigation, maybe she didn't find the right resources, is that she really is not in a position to do it in her own. And she prefers having these resources that she has at her back anyway, because she's got that loyalty. And I guess in some sense, the company is going to have her best interest at heart, period. It is going to be putting respect on her. It just seems like in terms of marketing, the marketing around them around this time is going to be very smart. So I'm not going to say that they might do this, but if there's a little bit of scare or spook that, oh, what if Blackpink actually disbands that kind of turns into people running over the stream and beg, you know, for them to stay together, I wouldn't be surprised in terms of marketing at the time, which might boost their numbers. There might be a little bit of suspicion su surrounding them, maybe uh, falling and tailgating off of uh, the potential con controversy that could be happening uh, in the last pile that I just said. So. But anyway, going into this, it just seems like in the end, really nothing crazy is going to be happening here other than, you know, the usual bullshit, man. Um, like I said, so I guess to summarize, they're probably going to stay together. Even though Lisa considered leaving, she ends up staying. And uh, we still might not get no damn music. <laughs> or not as much music as we would like. Other than that, yo, that is all that I have for you guys. So thank you so much for listening. Uh, have a great day, night, or whatever time you listen to this. Drop any comments with requests, critiques, or run over to the Tumblr and the blog and see what's up over there. Send in a request there also if you would like. If you can't get down with the get down, don't get down with funds. I know.